there are thoughts arise. Yes, they come and go. They come and go. But there are diff. There's different layers. They're not thoughts. They're almost like uh, living patterns that I call selfing. One of them is this idea that we we can be in something, and therefore we're trying to get out of it. Yes, and our whole life, in a way, you could take thousands of our behavioral days. And if you drop that template, you would see that thousands of days have basically gone in the same pattern. Maybe a couple of I could share some other patterns. But you'll see that all of your seeming days, all of your moments, all of your months and weeks, really, if you drop the template, you'd see have been the same old, same old. Yeah? It's not the particulars. It's a movement. And that, to me, that movement is like a movement of selfing. And one of them I noticed is very clearly described here. There is an assumption that becomes verified. There's an assumption of in something, and it becomes verified by our trying to get out of it. Yes? So the sense of being in it, let's say the sense of being in this crazy situation, is actually being reinforced by us trying to get out of the crazy situation. It's like one of those Chinese thumb things. The more you move around, the tighter it holds you. So if there's a recognition that you have never been in it, you get relieved. It doesn't mean you get out of what you think you're in. You get, you realize there was no in and out. Yeah? That to me is what I would call most people, that would represent what people are calling what I would feel like if I got out of this. What you would feel like is already not feel, but that mythical idea, I'll feel like this when that happens, is already in place. Yes? It's being seemingly hidden by this activity of being realizing I'm in trouble, I'm in this dilemma, I feel terrible, my heart's closed, and now I want to I wanna go open it. Yeah? So the real relief is to realize the best way to get out of something is not to be in it. Yes? Once you have that, there's the whole idea of time and and goals and uh, I've got to prepare myself go, are removed. You're in the immediate immediacy. You're not you, but you're right up against the immediate immediacy of what is. Yeah? There's no wiggle room. There's no place where you have to get it together. There's no place where you brought yourself to this position by doing something. It's right. It's right in front. It's right. Right in your face, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here. Let's say I'm sitting here and I go like this, and my head's going. Well, I'm going to prepare to talk with Richard and maybe all these people, and oh. It was prior to that. Yeah, There's no preparation for it to appear because it doesn't appear. It's already here. Yeah, It's not appear, disappear. It's not in and out. It's not then and there. It's not now and later. It's prior to it. it it's, not, it's not formed or contained by the movements of duality here, of the subject-object modality or the self-centeredness. That's why we're we're trying to we're trying to see something by a way of looking. You'll never see from what is by looking for it. Yeah, the looking for it is a pair of glasses that have a very set way of looking, and they have actually allowed us to forget our natural seeing. When the glasses are taken off, seeing. There's no, you don't have to practice seeing, you don't have to work at it, you don't have to go on to a retreat of how to see, it, it's right there, Bing! yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, how much more do you want, how much less do you want, every 